Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Scott Melidio, and today we'll be going through how to make aspirin. So to start, we are going to need a beaker and fill that up with water. So the beaker we are using is a 400 mil beaker. So we're going to fill that up and then we're going to set up the uh, water bath for that. I have filled this up and with two boiling chips, the boiling chips are needed to help the water heat evenly. So then we will place the water on the hot plate. And the one thing we first have to do here is we have to plug in the hot plate. And then we're going to set the hot plate either to a setting of two, but for us, we actually have the temperature that we can read on here. So we will set it to about 65 degrees. And we'll also put a thermometer in there to make sure we are at the correct temperature for when we want to start. While this is heating up, we will set up our reaction vessel. So for this, we want to make sure we're using a dry 125 mil Erlenmeyer flask. The reason why we need to make sure it's dry is because of the chemicals we are putting in it will react with water. If there's any water in here, we're not going to get a good yield. Going into our 125 mil Erlenmeyer flask here is going to be salicyclic acid. We're going to put two grams of that in. And then we will also be putting in five mils of acetic anhydride. We need to be extra careful with the acetic anhydride because it's a lanthermite, it can burn or irritate our nostrils if we breathe it in. So that is why when we're measuring out the five mils, we are doing this in the hood. And we wanna work with small amounts of it as well. It can also irritate the skin. Another thing to note is that this chemical has to be kept away from water or it can decompose into acetic acid which would be unable to carry out the reaction. For the sulfuric acid, we put five drops into our reaction. So the sulfuric acid is a catalyst, which means that it is recycled, so we only need a small amount of it. Those um, two solutions will be added, again, in the hood because they are highly reactive. So here I have now uh, weighed out my salicyclic acid, the five mils of the acetic anhydride, along with the catalytic amount of sulfuric acid. So it looks like our temperature is set. So now we can put our flask into the water bath to now start the reaction. All right, so this is how we are going to put our Erlenmeyer flask into our water bath. So we're gonna take a clamp First clamp it outside of the water bath. We will remove the thermometer so we don't break it. Now we have our apparatus fully set up. The Erlenmeyer flask, as you can see, is pretty much completely submerged within that water bath, along with our thermometer in there as well so we can regulate the temperature. The temperature for this reaction needs to be at least 50 degrees Celsius and it cannot get above 60 degrees Celsius. If the temperature gets above 60 degrees, what we will do is, is we will then turn off the hot plate, let the temperature cool down to 55 degrees, and then turn the heat back on. The reaction will go for 20 minutes. Now that our reaction is happening and we have 20 minutes to wait for it to go to completion, we can take a closer look at the molecular level of this reaction.